Just been to the Philip Guston at the Tate, has anyone been? <laughs> yeah, it was good, wasn't it? <laughs> I like to go around exhibitions twice, the uh, first time, to take photographs to put on Instagram. And the second time, to look down on people taking photographs. <laughs> I swam a 10k last week. Ooh, Thank you, two people. <laughs> it was around about the 7 or 8k mark that I realised that finishing this swim wasn't going to fill the gaping void inside me any more than the last one did. <laughs> <laughs> because, Connor, if we both know you can't run away from yourself, you sure as hell can't swim. <laughs> You'd never be able to swim fast enough, would you? Even Michael Phelps is going to have to face his demons one day. <laughs> so I decided to channel the gaping void inside me into my stand-up. And everyone's a winner. <laughs> I was in the pub the other day by myself. A guy comes up to me and asks whether I've been ghosted or dumped or something. I said, no. We're allowed out on our own these days. <laughs> Although I'm not going to say that having a chaperone wouldn't come in handy from time to time. I went on Bumble the other day, which is something that I do once a month when I'm ovulating. <laughs> I'm not saying I want to procreate. Just try telling my body that on a Tuesday night down spoons. <laughs> I went on a date with a jazz drummer. My friend said to me, at least you know he's got good rhythm. <laughs> she was of course referring to the beautiful act of lovemaking. <laughs> At the time, I wholeheartedly concurred, but on reflection, I started thinking two things. A, he might not be a very good drummer. <laughs> and B, just how much rhythm do you need? <laughs> After a little bit of research, I discovered that human beings have sex at roughly 75 beats per minute. <laughs> in 4-4 time. <laughs> Something for which I believe a jazz drummer might be sorely overqualified. <laughs> Before you know it, three self-indulgent hours have passed, there's been no climax, and you're wishing you left at the interval. <laughs> Just a heads up, if you ever find yourself in this position, uh, top tip is the stock response to their questioning as to whether or not you'd enjoyed it should always be, it was interesting. <laughs> started doing stand-up around the same time as I started doing the menopause. In order that the lights exacerbate my hot flashes to create a sheen on my skin so powerful that whenever you guys look at me, all you can see is your own reflection. <laughs> Thus shortcutting what we all really want from any social interaction anyway, which is to have our own ideas and opinions reflected back at us, <laughs> alongside the opportunity for a mirror selfie. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I like to practice my comedy dance spoons. The reason for this is threefold. One, they don't play music, so it's relatively quiet. <laughs> Two, Drinking in an establishment owned by someone as politically and ethically dubious as Tim Martin really exercises one's capacity for cognitive dissonance. <laughs> A skill I'm finding increasingly useful in scenarios such as this. <laughs> and three, nobody bats an eye but yet another person talking to themselves. <laughs> started doing stand-up for the same reason that most people started doing stand-up. Because my dad didn't love me. <laughs> well, 
I sure showed him. <laughs> Thank you very much.